It's 7,000 degrees outside. I'm in a tank top. It's a fat girl in a tank top. It happens. If I sound a little frustrated, it's probably because I am. I am having technical difficulties left and right. And my hair is... That's the only time... No. Hold on. That's the only time. All day today that I'm going to talk about my hair. Okay. My hair is frizzy because I'm sweating, because it's hot, whoa, and I'm fat, and I can't get iMovie to upload, and my camera's being weird, and it seems like every single time iMovie has an update, I have to relearn how to use the whole thing. I'm getting frustrated, and that's really all I have to complain about. But it's hot! It's so hot! So... Okay, oh, and I have this lovely little doodad on my nose. I've named her Edna. Isn't she beautiful? Mm. Okay, and I can't wear makeup because it's hot. It's hot. So rosacea, crazy kind of frizzy hair, fat girl in a tank top, trying not to show any bra straps because I'm classy. Here we are. Okay, this last weekend, um... I was sick. I got a little virus that gave me like a sore throat and I was achy and it wasn't strep, but um, it was, yeah. I know what it was, but that's just not a part of my life I'm ready to share with you. Ooh, mystery virus. Anyway, um, so I was kind of down and out. Sunday I started feeling better, so I got up, was doing some things around my house, doing laundry, um, reached down to grab a towel and my, something like went in my lower back and it the pain was excruciating and I uh, was like Wah! made some weird noise and fell to the ground and Daisy thought I was playing a game and um, I usually have my phone on my bra but I didn't for I have like this fear that when I'm doing the laundry the f since my bosoms are so large that my phone will like slip out one day into the washing machine and be gone forever and I've always already ruined my phone once due to a water difficulty, so whatever. So it was upstairs, so, and I couldn't walk. Like, I couldn't stand up. It hurt so bad, and the pain was, like, radiating down my legs. So I had to crawl up my stairs, and Daisy thought I was playing, and so she kept bringing me toys. And I finally made it upstairs, called my mom, and made it into a way bigger deal than it was, and so she rushed down here. But I was stuck on the floor for, like, a good 45 minutes, and I kept saying, Mom, we have to go to the emergency room, and she's like, how am I going to get you there? So finally I got to the couch, and um, so I spent most of Sunday evening on the floor and the couch, and then Monday, which was my birthday, um, I spent on the couch watching my mom clean my house, because she's awesome. Thanks, Mom. Um, so I didn't get to do what I wanted to do for my birthday, which was... 32 random acts of kindness because I did it when I was when I turned 30 I did 30 acts of random acts of kindness and it was a blast and so I decided to do it again this year so I went out and did it all today and you guys it was seriously the best birthday gift ever because I don't know about you but when I do things for other people it makes me feel good and I'm not making this video for you to be like oh my gosh she's such an amazing person because one, we already know that I am. And two, I just wanted to share this with you because if you're ever feeling down in the dumps or need a, pick, a quick pick-me-up, go do something for somebody else because it makes you feel good inside. Makes you feel the warm and fuzzies right here. So anyway, a few things that I did was, one, I got a bunch of gift certificates to this place here. Yeah, I can't stop playing with my bangs, I'm sorry. Um, To this place here called Fizz. And I gave them to the postal workers at the post office, in case you didn't know where postal workers work. And then I made like a big sunshine out of yellow cardstock. And I wrote, man, it's sure hot out here. Have a drink on us. And put one in there. And I put it in the mailbox for the postman because he's got to walk around in this weather. I don't like the heat, just in case you can tell. I don't like it just as much as I don't like the snow. And I live in the desert. It, anyway. anyway. Um, let's see. I took donuts to the people that were on duty today at the fire station, and I, because of my samples, I get, um, 
lots of coupons for Enfamil and Similac, and I get some pretty good ones, like five, ten, fifteen dollars off. And so, and I can't use them, so I went and taped them to the shelves at Walmart and Target uh, by the baby formula. I took a bunch of towels and dog treats and stuffed animals to Humane Society, and I donated a lot of personal hygiene items to the Ronald McDonald House. If you don't know what the Ronald McDonald House is, please click on the link about it below. It's a pretty dope place. Um, I just said dope. Dope. Um, and I sent some fun mail to five very unsuspecting people. Um, just, you know, this little fun, hello, I love you. And I paid for somebody, I went to Starbucks to get my, okay, Ugh. I will stop eventually, but it's getting long and I talk about it too much. I really do. Okay. I went to Starbucks and got my favorite drink as of right now. It's it's so good and I'll share it with you later because I'm going to do a favorites video for each month. Anyway, ADD moment. Um, and I paid for the person, I went through the drive through and I paid for the person behind me. I've only done that once and it was the last time that I did this when I turned 30 and it was, it's so much fun. And um, it's actually happened to me twice. Once at McDonald's and once at Starbucks actually. And it's just, yeah, it's always fun to pay it forward because it will come around to you. Um, what goes around comes around. Oh, who sings that song? What goes around goes around goes around comes all the way back around. I love Justin Timberlake. I really do. Okay. Um, there are, and then I took some flowers to some elderly ladies in the neighborhood that I grew up in. I took some garbage can, I took the garbage cans in for about 10 different people on my street. And there's a bunch of other stuff that I did too. I'm not going to go into it all. I will make a list over on the blog and there's also going to be a fun little printable over there for you. Printable. I like that word. Printable. You know what else? It's hot. I've already said that though, 5,000 times. Okay, so yeah, that's what I did for my birthday, and it was a blast. I also had a little get together with my family, well, some of my family, like I told you guys before, my siblings don't like me, but that's a whole other, that could be a whole other YouTube channel. My siblings don't like me.com. My siblings hate my guts.com. My siblings think I am scum.com. Oh, so my parents and my cousin and her kids and my grandma and her boyfriend, who she says is just a friend, but it's really her boyfriend, and he's so cute. Love you, Ken. Um, we got together and had dinner and cake, the most bomb cake. It was a yellow cake with lemon filling in the middle and... Um, frosting, white frosting with some old... <laughs> star sprinkles and though my mom dropped it on the way to dinner and so it was like lops it was the best cake ever yeah I love that I love that lady and then Blythe gave me her present and she got me three things of hand soap from the dollar store which are so yummy and smell so good and she wrote me a card and I just I love that kid she's with her dad tonight and she'll be home this weekend and then she goes with my mom on vacation for a month I'm kind of having a little rambling tangent here. Anyway, if you guys have any random acts of kindness that you've performed, any stories about people that have done stuff for you, or any ideas for of random acts of kindness you'd like to share, please leave a comment below. If you haven't already, would you subscribe to my channel already? Just do it! Don't watch my videos and not subscribe. Lame. Um, and go ahead and hit the like button for Edna here. Hopefully she won't be with us too much longer, but it's always nice to have company. Just, just, just admit it. Okay, that's it for today. I'm going to be coming back at you tomorrow to do an episode of What's So Great About Trader Joe's. I've got some good stuff to share with you. Good stuff. Thanks for being here. Seriously, thanks. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye! My siblings wish I didn't exist dot com. How many things about me my siblings hate dot com. Do I have siblings? You'd think I wouldn't dot com. Do you have any brothers and sisters? Yeah, but they hate me dot com. Things hate you? Mine do too dot com. Sibling hate for dummies dot com. 
Have you seen my brother and sister lately? Because I haven't. Dot com. What to do when your brother and sister hate your guts? Dot com. I have a brother and sister. Oh, you didn't know that? That's because they don't like me. Dot com.